Sugar Food, welcome back to From Head to Curve, our plus size fashion and lifestyle community. If you're new here, I'm Ashley Morgan. I make plus size fashion and lifestyle videos and vlogs for you guys to enjoy. So definitely don't forget to subscribe. Before we get into the outfits, I want to ask you guys to please give this video a thumbs up. It will really help the reach of this channel. If you're watching it on your TV, press the up arrow and you'll see three dots, two places over from my picture. Click those dots and you'll be able to see the thumbs up from there. If you're watching it on your phone, put it in landscape mode and you'll see the thumbs up underneath the video. Thank you guys so much for your help. It will really help us grow. I'm trying to reach a thousand. So thank you so much for helping your girl out on this. So today y'all, I'm actually going to bring y'all a few, well, it's actually more than a few, some outfits that are perfect for transitional weather. So you know, we're in the beginning of March, spring hits us at the end of March. So this is the perfect time for us to be kind of transitioning our wardrobe into the spring but you know we'll still have a little bit of those chilly nights so i'm going to give you guys quite a few outfit ideas that you can create based on the things that are already in your closet or some things that you may want to add to your closet so you can have longevity and change and style different outfits throughout the season so going forward i want to remind you guys that when you are purchasing things, you definitely want to make sure you have a lot of wear in the things that you are getting for your closet. I am learning that <laughs> as I'm cleaning out my closet full of stuff that I just wear maybe once or twice and then kind of don't wear at all. So I want a lot of things that I'm going to be able to style different ways so that I can enjoy the clothes that I have in my closet. And then maybe a few items here and there each season, I donate shelter or something like that to kind of give those the opportunity that are gonna wear it more, the opportunity to do so. so. Only purchase the things you feel that you really will wear more than five, six times. It's something that you really love and then when you get it on your body, you really enjoy it. So yeah, don't be afraid to return stuff either, y'all. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the outfits. So first I wanna show you guys the outfit that I have on now. This dress is from Torje, you know what I'm saying? Um, it is very comfortable. I think the brand is called Wild Things. I could be lying. What is it called? Hold on. <laughs> So girl, I was all the way wrong. The brand is actually called Wild Fable. And the thing I really like about this dress is not only does it have like these little, it's like an outside seam that kind of gives more character to the dress. It's all around the dress. So it's not, it does, you're not gonna be mistaken that you have your dress on the wrong side. It is actually built into the design of the dress. So it looks like it goes that way. And I like how it's like a slightly lighter contrasting color with this particular color. This dress comes in, I wanna say four different colors for plus size women. Um, and then it also comes in straight sizes. So if you are kind of in between, this is a good option to purchase. And it's something that can follow you from spring into summer. I have the I have this color, I have black, and I also have the emerald green. And I like the emerald green too because it's the same as this one. It has like a lighter shade contrasting color against the darker main color of the dress. I really, really love the fact that the dress can kind of stand alone when it comes to creating an hourglass shape. It has like little hips bent, built into it. And then it also has like a shape from the back that kind of makes room for your butt. So I think this makes it look really good on, especially if you want to wear it with shapewear. But then you also have the option to not wear it with shapewear if you want to be more comfortable. You can change it into a lounge kind of outfit, something you can lounge around in and still go be able to do any of your errands and stuff like that. So I paired the dress with my new Adidas Ultra Boost 22. They come in different colors. I really like the color white. I've been needing some white tennis shoes and I'm gonna have to pray on the Lord and ask help to keep these things <laughs> clean. But the biggest thing I love about the shoe is the whole top portion and back portion of the shoe is very stretchy. The toe of the shoe is wide and it feels really good when you're walking in the shoe. If you are a walker or you're someone that's always on the go or you need more comfortable shoes for your wider feet, this is a good investment, trust me. It's stylish, it doesn't look like you're like, you know, it doesn't give that orthopedic feel. You have nice cushion and the width of it feels really good. Like you can really spread your toes and the top of it allows it to be breathable. So it is so comfortable. I actually wanna get several other pairs of these and it has me looking at a lot of other Adidas shoes because these are so comfortable to walk in and they just, perfect for shopping, perfect for errands, perfect for wanting to look cute but still feel comfortable. And honey, I am too old to be feeling uncomfortable. Listen, 
I really like these shoes. So that is what I paired with this Target dress. Um, you, you know, can have the option of investing more in your accessories, which is morally what I like to do. The other thing I partnered with this outfit was the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag. You follow me on Instagram, um, <laughs> here, um, anywhere. Like you've seen me carry this bag around. I've gotten my money back on this bag already about several different times because I carry it all the time. My particular size is 175 or 195, I think. It's the small, then they have a mini that is a little smaller, and then they have another size that is a little larger, and then like an actual like vacation pack, I forgot what they call it, but a vacation style bag of that, it, like it's huge. I don't need it right now. If you have been eyeing this bag, I would definitely say check out Farfetch. They have great sales going on all the time. Sign up to their newsletter. It's gonna be linked below if you wanna check them out and keep an eye on it. Put it like in your favorites and then they'll send you an email when it goes on sale or something like that if you don't want it to get it at the exact price. But if you want an everyday bag that you're absolutely gonna love and it can really go with everything, I think this is a perfect bag and you can wear it for years and years and years and years to come. Earrings that I wore with this, this is Kendra Scott. I am really enjoying a lot of her pieces because they don't turn, they're sterling silver. You have the option of getting um, something that is not extremely fast flashy or it doesn't look like costume jewelry but also doesn't cost you extremely much in order to purchase so i think these earrings were like 60 something bucks um which is more than enough there's their hoops that is called the maggie earrings and i got it in gold and silver so that's what i paired with this because i really needed some earrings and i think it just goes really well with gold so that is this first outfit Okay, so for this next outfit that I'm wearing, it screams spring. Um, I've seen that one of the colors that is going to be like really good in spring this year is neutrals, beiges, stuff like that. Uh, I said neutrals, but I mean taupes, beiges, browns. I'm here for it because I love me a good brown, neutral, taupe, whatever. Um, I wanna mix it up with everything. <laughs> I wear it in every season, so it's nothing. Um, so I paired a brown belt that I found on Amazon. Actually, one of you guys found it for me um, and sent it to me because I was constantly linking or constantly creating looks with a belt that was sold out of Target. I found that this belt was available in several different colors on Amazon and it has been available for a very long time. It goes up to a size, I wanna say 50 something like stretch in the waist and I'm only gonna wear it like at the small of my waist in order to like you know kind of bring in a dress or a top or something like that so i will have that link for you guys to check out it has gold hardware which is perfect for me because i always wear gold and if i ever need to wear silver i most likely will wear my black belt that is very similar to this one from target so a springy nice dress is so cute to pair with this belt uh, this is an older dress so i'm going to link similar options for you guys below and this dress this particular dress has pockets and the thing i like about it is that it's lined so um even if you don't get a dress that is lined definitely wear black shapewear or black panties and bra and stuff underneath it to kind of help conceal i forgot to let you guys know that i am wearing my spanx thin stinks shaper with all of these outfits and love Spanx. I really love the Thin Stinks shaper because it's easily concealed under jeans or pants if you decide to wear shaper with that, which I pretty much wear shaper with everything that I wear because it helps me look more put together in my outfit. It prevents a lot of jiggle, um, creasing and all of that, and it just helps me feel better and really solidifies the look of my outfit to me. That is available at 10% off, um, and you can get free shipping if you use the code that is linked in my description. It's Ashley X Spanx, and you can get 10% off and free shipping for these Spanx. I paired this entire look with some nude, beige, brown, whatever you wanna call them, padded strap sandals. I got these from Ego Shoes, last year or the year before that. So they're pretty old, um, but I will link some options for you guys to check out that's either similar to this. I already found some really nice ones on uh, ASOS that are wide width, so you can try them too. And I'll try to make sure they have a sensible heel because like I said, I'm getting too old to be uncomfortable. And I don't know if y'all with me, but 
I'm gonna link what I would wear. That is this outfit, nice springy dress. I think this is really cute to kind of bring in something for church or if you wanna wear it to work. I think this is very appropriate for both options or it can be like a casual day out type of outfit. So you can wear this in several different settings, which is where you want your money to go anyway. <laughs> the jewelry I paired with this outfit, this is from Kendra Scott as well. I forgot the name of this necklace, but it is a flat necklace. If you can tell, really love the fact that you can pair it with a lot of different things. And I got this in silver and gold. And what I did is I purchased an extension also because I like my necklaces to be kind of long. So I got this little extension piece here to kind of um, add some more length to the necklace. And then I got the same thing in silver as well. So you can check out Kendra Scott. This one was a part of their fashion line too, which is a more affordable line. These earrings are from Adrian Bylon's line called 1111. Um, I think my sister got this for me for Christmas. She has a very affordable jewelry line as well. So I will link her website below. I like the simplicity of this hoop and the, the style of it. So I will have these specific ones. Hopefully they're still available, but I will have them linked below or her website fully below so you can check out what she has. So this dress that I'm wearing now is actually a dress that I got from Walmart last year, but they also have a dress that's similar to it and I love the flow of it. It's made by the same brand, Terra and Sky, which is Walmart's plus size line. So, you know, I've always talked about Walmart. We work with Walmart all the time over here. This dress is very soft. The Terra and Sky line is, has very soft fabric and I love the way that it feels. It's the true plus size. So I would size down on any of the dresses that they have. I'm gonna link this one. I think it's available in one color in one size. Um, and then the dress that's similar is available in this kind of color as well as several other different colors. It has a bit more sleeves if you don't like showing off your arms which I don't mind because we're going to going into spring and honey I need all like I live in Houston <laughs> I ain't got time for sleeves like that they have several different options for you I'm going to link that next uh, dress below and that dress that's similar to this one is under 20 bucks so you can check that out I paired this outfit with the same um, 11 earrings that I got from Adrian Bylon's line and these shoes from QVC these are Vince Camuto shoes ankle strap padded shoes they are not actually labeled as wide width but they are very comfortable they're perfect for a wide wider foot so the strap feels really comfortable around like it's it's padded on the inside as well not just the outside so it feels really comfortable around your the top of your foot and then the strap is velcro because like who wants to deal with laces so the velcro it kind of like it's not made for a wider ankle but you do have the option of velcroing um, further along to kind of elongate it if you see what I'm saying so you have that option these are still available from QVC and I really really like these they have like a slight wedge to them slight very minimal but it's a nice sandal love the pop of color and it comes in several other colors as well Okay guys, the next few outfits are actually blazer related outfits. So blazers are gonna be a really good essential for you to use and style during a transitional season because it adds a layer without adding too much bulk. So you can not only wear it for like casual settings, but it's also perfect to wear when you're in the office. So you can get multi-purpose use with blazers. So here are two of my favorite blazers that were already in my closet. I didn't purchase them for this video. This first blazer is the black and taupe contrast blazer from Eloquy. It looks really good with an all black outfit and it also looks really good dressed down, which I will show you in a later outfit. So I paired it with this bodysuit that I got from Shein. Shein got some really nice bodysuits, y'all. Like, it feels really good. It's short sleeve, so if at any point you wanna take your blazer off and you kinda wanna feel more of the coolness or whatever outside, it's gotten a little hot, you can take it off and it's short sleeve. Um, or you can get something long sleeve if you wanna layer uh, because it's a little cooler but not too cool for like a jacket. Yeah, so Shein has a ton of bodysuits. I'll actually link the landing page to their tops and their bodysuits because they have really nice, the basic bodysuits that they have feel really good and they're affordable, they're like maybe five, seven, 10 bucks. So I paired that bodysuit with an Old Navy skinny jeans that I got a while ago. Old Navy has really nice jeans. The 
trick with them is sizing up one size. Um, so I got the basic black skinny jeans as well as these point toe booties. Now it's been kind of hard finding booties just like these. I got these from Lane Bryant years ago and it's actually time for me to get another pair and kind of upgrade these. But I will look for something similar because you can still have booties and wear them during a transitional season because it can get cooler at night or some days where like now where it's kind of off and on, it's kind of cool and then it's warm the next day. So as you're giving, <laughs> as you're giving your heat and AC the workout, you can still wear boots if need be. So this bag is from QVC, it's Rebinka, Rebinka, <laughs> Rebecca Minkoff. Um, I got it at QVC last year and it's still available. I like the padding. Um, I will link this one and then maybe Shein has some affordable options if you want something similar to this because I think I have found a bag on Shein that is kind of similar to this. So if you want this particular one, Rebecca Minkoff is the brand of this one and it will last you for a really long time. I like the all black hardware that's available on the bag um, so you can style it with so many other things and you have a smaller option for a simple but cute black bag. Now the one that I linked that's similar from Shein, it may not have all black hardware, but I'll try to get as close as possible. <laughs> so I paired the look with that bag and then some of the silver accessories that I have, which is both of these items from Kendra Scott. So the next outfit is, oh, Girl, I hope I had no Dorito dust on my lips. I've been kind of snacking between changes. The next outfit that I'm wearing is actually this top that I'm wearing now. It's a bodysuit. It's an older white rib bodysuit and it is short sleeve and it kind of has like a slight turtleneck, but you can just wear any basic, uh, either black, white, or any other color bodysuit, either from Shein or Boohoo or any other places like that. So I'll have them linked below if you need to update some of your bodysuits. I actually paired it with the jeans that I really love. They're one of my favorite jeans, from a and jeans from JCPenney. And they're so comfortable. They feel good, they fit me well. They actually like kind of conceal my tummy. Come on, tummy. They kind of conceal my belly. <laughs> um, they conceal it, but it has like frayed at the ankle. So it looks really good and adds some character to the jeans. They're kind of like a lighter wash jean, but it looks really good on and I, I really love the way it feels. The blazer I have is like an olive, kind of like a, a more of a more olive green that you can wear during spring or during the transitional season. I don't see this color that much now, but I will try to find this color. If not, I'll just give you other options that you can get from like Boohoo, uh, Misguided, Nasty Gal that will have different kinds of uh, blazers for you to try on. So I dress this down, but kind of like, like running errands, but you still wanna look put together and cute. So I paired them with my Adidas Ultra Boost 22 shoes, they're in white. I showed you guys them earlier. Very comfortable and it looks really good with the wash of the jeans. So that entire outfit is very comfy, but it still gives you a nice little, you know, pop of, hey girl, I'm cute. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually paired the bag. This bag that I got is from Zara. I have not been able to find the bag online, but I found some very similar bags from Shein. So I will link those for you guys. And it's just a padded um, bag with a gold chain hardware. So I think it's really cute. It's bigger. I think the one at Shein is a little bit smaller, which I would prefer. It's a little bit bigger um, for an actual padded bag that you can put. But I like that you can still um, bag that you can carry but I like that you can still put it on your shoulder if you don't wanna kinda of carry it around without, like by using the handle or whatever, you can still have plenty of space to put it on your shoulder. So if I find it on Zara, I'll link it, but I haven't been able to find it yet, so I don't know. That was that outfit, I think that's perfect transition. You can also take it off for like a short sleeve. You can take off the blazer and still wear it by itself if need be, so it's a perfect outfit. If you are a person that doesn't like to have your uh, tops tucked in, then you can have like just a simple tee, like a V-neck simple tee from either Target, you know, they have several affordable options there. And then Shein has some options. You can just get, you know, those from there. Walmart, they have great options that have 
won't no. make you look bulky and slouchy, but still will give you that look without you having to have a top tucked in, if that's something that you're concerned about. So the final blazer outfit is this last one. It's more of a relaxed outfit as well, just like the second one. You have the same top, the same white ribbed bodysuit, but you can pair it with sweats instead of jeans. So you can have more movement. You can do any style of sweat, like depending on what kind of color blazer you have, you can do any like color type sweats gray would look nice um, with a solid black blazer or a white blazer or something like that you can kind of change things up but still have this kind of staple look if you want to go with something that's comfortable you're on the go you're doing a lot of moving you don't want something like restricting your stomach so you want to wear sweats but you can pair it with some nice tennis shoes i think the best bet is to have like really nice tennis shoes it does they don't have to be expensive but they have to look good and they have to be clean okay um so i have you some clean nice looking tennis shoes um and then a whatever color top you want to pair but you can kind of play around with the different colors these are pretty much basics you're just throwing together these sweatpants that i got on are from walmart they are i think terra and sky i think they're the terra and sky brand very comfortable um i would size down actually i got my regular size and after i washed it one time it feels fine so i probably would size the same <laughs> especially you know um i think i threw them in the dryer to kind of help them shrink a little bit too so they shrunk in length a little bit which is perfect because they were very baggy and then they shrunk inward so after they get the right size don't put them in the dryer no more <laughs> but i got those from walmart and then of course the shoes are from adida and then i will put some options for you with uh for you guys on the bodysuit and then of course that black and tan or black and taupe contrast blazer is from eloquy so let's move on to our very final outfit which i'm <laughs> proud about girl because i'm hungry and i'm ready to eat <laughs> okay so the final outfit is this top it's a ruffle trim top from target so you know it's affordable i have that paired with my a and a jeans from jc penny and some wide width loafers i found some similar white with loafers on ASOS and then I'm going to look on DSW and any other shoe places to see if I can find some similar options for you guys because these are really really old. Love the color of this top. This rust color is really cute. It gives you fall but then it's like no. So it's not it's kind of like a slight sweater. It's something that you will wear on a cooler night. So if you're going out at night or kind of before or the evening before it gets too dark and it's a little bit cooler this is something you would wear because it is a little bit thicker it's not extremely thick to where you would like almost die but don't wear this on a sunny day <laughs> it feels really good and of great quality i don't remember what the brand is but i'll have it linked below for you guys well the t-shirt i won't list the brand have those same a and a jeans um from jc penny which is really cute it has the frayed at the bottom ankle and then the wide with loafers just gives you kind of like a casual look like you can slide these things on real quick um but still have a nice put together look because ain't nothing wrong with a cute loafer okay so guys thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up that will really help with the reach of our channel and the growth of this channel so thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed all of the outfits or at least some of the outfits that you can wear during the transitional season until we hit spring in March my birthday month my mom's birthday month hello blessings so I'm so excited to finally have gotten this out for you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, definitely subscribe if you are new here and you want more plus size fashion hauls and you want plus size fashion lifestyle travel vlogs which we will get into this year as well so i will talk to you guys on another video bye, bye.